Let's change text in an image without the original Photoshop file. You can see I dragged in this Pittsburgh Thunderbirds roster graphic. By default, when you drag in a JPEG or any flattened image, it will just make that the background layer in a Photoshop document. You can see there are no other layers in the layers panel. So the first thing we wanna do is unlock this layer. It's just gonna have that lock icon by default. So if you click on it, now it will allow us to edit the layer. I'm also gonna hit Command J to duplicate the layer. Whenever we're editing a specific layer, it's always a good idea to make a copy of it, just in case you have to go back. So the first thing we wanna do, let's say we wanna change the week one versus Boston text here. We wanna identify this font, and Photoshop has this cool tool called Match Font. So I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard to select the rectangular marquee tool, which will allow me to draw a dotted line box around the text that I'm interested in. And now you can go up to type and match font. And that will bring up this window. It's gonna suggest a font based on the image that it, it thinks is pretty close. And these aren't typically gonna be exact. You also might know the font that is in the graphic. If you know the font, don't worry about this step. But let's say for the sake of this tutorial, you don't. Let's go with the industry medium. That was its top suggestion. Hit OK. I'm gonna hit Command D to deselect this box, and then I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard for the type tool, and now I'm gonna type out week one versus Boston. And I wanna make sure the color matches too, so hit B for the brush tool, and then when you hold Option with the brush tool selected, you can click or click and hold on any part of the image, and it's gonna change that color to the foreground color. So let's find this text color, great. Now I'm going back to T, the text tool, and to change the color of the text, if you have it in the foreground color, I just switch it back and forth between the foreground and background, and that should make it take effect. So that looks good. Now I'm gonna move it up, and back to the type tool, I'm gonna increase the font size. Let's left justify it so we can see how it's aligned. And again, this font is not exact, clearly, but it's close enough. So let's move this text layer that we created in the exact position we want it. We can even transform it by hitting Command T and, and scale it in a little bit to get it even closer. And now I'm gonna hide this text layer because we don't wanna worry about it yet. Now we're gonna remove the old text. So click on the layer that you duplicated. I'm just gonna hide this first layer so there's no confusion. So we're on the layer we duplicated. Let's hit M on our keyboard, back to that rectangular marquee tool, and let's draw another box around the text we don't want. And now I'm gonna right click and go down to Content Aware Fill. And now Photoshop is just gonna guess based on the image what you wanna fill that block with. This will work for some images better than others. Obviously if the background is super busy, it might be hard for Photoshop to really key in on what pixels should go in that place, but this is a pretty standard texture. It, it does get a little bit complex, so it's not gonna be a perfect replacement, but for all intents and purposes, the normal viewer will not be able to notice a difference. And you see this green box that appears when you go to this content aware fill? This is the area that it's sampling from the image. So if for whatever reason, and this is the preview, if for whatever reason it showed like some yellow text that it was trying to fill that box with, clearly it'd be trying to get that from this game day roster or some of the player names down here. This screen by default gives you this brush that you can click and drag to remove parts that you don't want it to sample in that space. So if you really didn't want any yellow text showing through, not that it's a problem in this case, but just for the sake of this tutorial, you can brush out the parts that you don't want. So now it's it's really just sampling this black texture, which is the part we want to fill it with. So go ahead and hit OK. And now we have that text gone. I'm going to deselect. And then you can turn on your text layer. And now from here, we can change it to whatever we want. Week 5 versus Madison. In theory, this is the same roster as the week one roster. So that's how you change text from an image without having the original Photoshop file.